live. Happens Monday through Friday at four o'clock. And today I'm so excited. We have Lindsay Grant from Grant Street Grocery. Hi. So the first thing I have to ask you is you, how long have you owned Grant Street Grocery? We just started our fourth year. We opened in January, uh, three, three years ago. So um, we had about a six month construction on it and we're going on our fourth year almost. So it's exciting. And so it's been Grant Street Grocery for as long as I can remember. And you were only yeah. How yes. long? 102 this year. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a definitely a cornerstone of our community and a really um, historic, fun place to come. And a lot of people in Casper, I've been surprised that haven't known um, how to get here or where it is, what it, what we do. So it's been kind of a journey over the last three years, kind of getting people to know that we're open and um, what we do. And now we get to do it all over again. <laughs> That's awesome. So where are you located? Tell us all. Uh, 815 South Grant Avenue, slightly ironic. It's on Grant Avenue, even though we're called Grant Street. I think at some point in the history of the store, it they renamed the streets and it became Grant Avenue. So um, we kept it. But it, you can get to it off of 2nd Street. I always just tell people to turn at Peaches. That's a, also another great landmark in our community. And you can just turn at Peaches, go into the neighborhood, and about uh, six blocks in, you find us. On the weekends, one of my favorite things for my daughter and I to do is come there for breakfast. Yeah. So you're still doing that, correct? We are. So we're still doing a breakfast uh, item on Saturdays. Um, we used to open at 8 o'clock on Saturdays, and we're doing all kinds of different things. And in the summer, people would sit out on the patio, which was really fun. We're excited to get some of that weather back. Um, but now, to you know, in today's climate, we are still doing breakfast. They're all to go. Nobody's really hanging out and standing around anymore, um, which is a shame. It's a fun place to gather when we get back to that this summer and um, you can still get breakfast. And we will be back to that. Yes, good. good. <laughs> so when you bought the store, what was your vision? Like, I know you remodeled and you've changed some things. So where kind of where did that come from and how did that morph into what it is today? You know, the, the desire was to make sure that this place could be sustainable for another hundred years. Um, and the vision was just to try to make sure that everything got updated. So we did do a lot of, um, you know, really fun things like a, a new roof and new siding and new windows and updated electrical and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the vision for what was going to happen inside the store was high quality meat, meat butcher department, um, high quality, fun cheeses, uh, products, specialty products that you could get, uh, that you couldn't get at a regular store. And so it's kind of fun. I mean, we started researching all over the country, at other, all these really fantastic makers that are doing things across the country and across the world. And we're happy to be able to bring some of that, a little bit of that flavor to Casper. What's, I, I'm a, cheese lover so what do you think the favorite like casper cheese like when people come in there what's their favorite cheese to get we've had a few number ones over the years and i would say we have a hatch chili cheddar that is a big one that one's so versatile it's great just to snack on but it's really great in recipes like scrambled eggs or nachos taco night that kind of thing um that one's a number one. We also have like an aged Buddha called Beamster. And that one's a really fun one to kind of get somebody kind of to expand their um, cheese palette and get into get into something different than obviously like a Havarti and all that kind of stuff. But we have always loved um, helping educate customers and explore and expand their palettes and be able to come in and say, ooh, so this is the kind of cheese I normally like. And then we can say, try this piece and let me know if you like that and get them, you know, just move the, move their, their palate just a little bit more that way. Um, right now we're not really doing any in-store tastings of course. Uh, but when we get back to it, we'll be able to do cheese extravaganzas. Those are really fun. We bring in wine and we have lots of cheese to try and we'll do that again. Awesome. Yeah. What have you changed in the last three weeks to help serve your, your customers better? 
uh, you know, as we started to see a lot of the grocery stores getting picked apart and people want, needing certain things, we just wanted to make sure that people had access to uh, certain things like fresh fruits and vegetables. So we, we certainly got in and made sure that we were carrying things like fresh produce. This is something that we've never really carried before. So having things like apples and oranges, um, we've not really ever done anything like that. You know, we figured our neighborhood and our community customers were going to the grocery store on a regular basis anyways. And all, what we could do was provide the kind of the fun stuff in between your basic um, shopping. And now we're, I mean, we've had a huge outcry for potatoes. So we carry lots of different kinds of potatoes, flour, yeast. Um, we've sold more ground beef in the last few weeks than we've ever sold before uh, because stores were running out. They were running out of a lot of things. And we wanted to make sure that um, any of our customers, elderly or people with families who couldn't travel or didn't want to go to the, uh, a bigger store, had the ability to come and do uh, the basics and get basics here and be able to um, save a trip. So when, when can people come to the store? Because you, you have some hour changes, correct? We did. We changed our hours from Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5 now. So we're only open from 9 to 5. Uh, before, we were open from 6 to 6. So uh, we just kind of pared it down. We're doing, uh, now we close a little earlier so we can do additional cleaning and stocking on the floor. We run out of things, well, we run through a lot of things through the day. Um, so that extra hours to kind of help help us get all of that done uh, before we open up the next day. And, you know, with people working from home, we haven't had those 6 a.m., you know, coffee coffee folks rush into the office anymore these days. So we slowed that down a little bit and then opened at 9, also giving our staff a break to, um, you know, rest in between. Uh, it's been a lot of work uh, for everybody here and just huge thanks to certainly all of our staff and I know everybody in the community with a, with a small business and a big business, we're all just working really hard and we're all just trying to adapt to these uh, new times. Definitely. Some of the things that you have that people can come get if they, if they don't want to cook every night since we can't go out to eat yeah. is prepared meals. Absolutely. Uh, the business model kind of from the beginning that you asked me about earlier, we wanted to make sure we had food for people who wanted to cook everything from scratch. Uh, spices and again really high quality meats and things and then the cook who would want to maybe go halfway maybe they want a, a packet of something that is a helpful meal starter and then we have people who don't want to cook at all they just want to come and get and get a product that's ready to go so we're working with um, chef Gigi I don't know if you remember Gigi in town she's coming in um, and cooking for us as well as we have uh, two other cooks in the kitchen because we've been selling through so much more food. Uh, so uh, Troy, we have in the kitchen and Erica, they work five days a week. And then we also have uh, some people coming in and helping us even make more because it's overwhelming. Um, but she made this, this is a sweet potato salad with like cucumbers and onions and it's really fresh and delicious. And then we also have things like, this is a roasted salmon with some broccolini and a tzatziki um, that you would just, you can heat up in a microwave or honestly that'd be good cold uh, on some greens and then we also she made irish soda bread today and last week we had carrot cake so we're just trying to give people things that they can pick up you know these also make really nice deliveries um if you're taking a care package to somebody um they're not and you don't know if they're going to be cooking anything you can at least get them something that they can eat and it's healthy and and made here do those different meals change all the time? All the time. So that's awesome because people can be getting that and have a variety. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate, I know we appreciate variety um, in our own homes. And so we change out. So I think we have like a chicken enchilada dish this week with corn tortillas. So people can come in and that's a really easy one to uh, put in the oven and stuff. And um, yeah, we try to make a little bit of both easy or just coming and get some delicious fresh salmon. So we get fresh fish all the time as well. You are also making sandwiches like you normally do, correct? 
Correct. And so that full menu is on, or your full menu anyway, but the sandwiches as well are on your website. Mm -hmm. Grand, so what, what's your sorry, grandstgrocery.com. And that has the sandwich menu, but it also has all of all of these. So when we change it out, I try to get it updated as soon as possible. Um, so you don't come in and you're like, oh, I really wanted that. And, you know, it's gone. So I really try to update that. Definitely keep checking back on that. Awesome. And so people can order sandwiches mm -hmm. at lunchtime or whatever mm -hmm. and use DoorDash. Yep. So the sandwich yeah. menu is deliverable for DoorDash. And then anything else in the store, if there's something you want, we'll certainly deliver a curbside and try to, we're trying to help as many people as possible with what their comfort level is really. And you do have a few options for some private showing or shopping if somebody needs that, correct? Yeah, I'm happy to help. If you or somebody you know is just like, you know, I even if I just don't feel comfortable coming into a store, but I still need to get some things. Um, if they call, I usually just say, look, we're here at 8.30. It's opening anyways. You got 30 minutes and before anybody else comes in. I'm happy to help people with that. Uh, you know, we can do that any day. And I would just have one person or one couple or one family in at a time. Yeah, that can definitely help some people who are maybe compromised, you know, immunocompromised. Yes, or something. Yeah. Definitely. You have some fun things that you brought into the store for people to take home and treat themselves. Yeah. So Absolutely. tell me about that. You know, it's funny. These I actually had brought in. I bought for like. I was thinking Valentine's Day and Mother's Day and birthdays. And so these are all like uh, fun face masks, face masks to uh, treat yourself. Um, these are awesome to take home and, or, or again, put in a little care package for somebody. If you know somebody's really kind of struggling with this um, uh, transition or, uh, you know, has kids, just say, you know what, here's 20 minutes go, hey, you know, take care of yourself for a minute. So we have that and I do have like things like teas and coffees that I really wanted to make sure that if you are home, you can still have some good um, tea and coffee um, that you can take care of. And we're happy to grind it here for you as well. We sell all of it whole bean, but if you don't have a grinder, we can certainly grind that for you and kind of walk you through some of the different flavor profiles of our coffees. Awesome. Um, and we were talking before we came on here about how important right now it's to, is to eat right and take care of yourself and, you know, be kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think, you know, there's a lot, I have to turn the TV off and, you know, sometimes honestly just turn, turn it all off and just, if I can go outside and, uh, just sit and have a cup of coffee or some tea or something that tastes nice and kind of think about the senses that you have, what you, what are you hearing? What are you seeing? Um, what are you tasting and smelling? That I think is also something that I think we could all do a little bit more with. And I'm, I'm sure it's really hard for people if they're living in an apartment building or, um, you know, they got a house full of kids or something like that. We're all stressed out. And so I think the little things that we can do to help, help alleviate that for folks by carrying some fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, things that you can treat yourself with or treat a neighbor with or a parent if you can't see them. Um, delivering a little gift box is really, I think, a nice a nice thing to do. It's been, it's been fun to see how many people who come in and um, they're very generous. They've been giving things to people and making boxes for, for, uh, for people and it's, it's a really good time, I think. And I do think that people around us do need stuff and they're, they're afraid sometimes to ask. I've been calling some of my, um, some of my clients that can't get out as much. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning they're like, Holy shit, I'm fine. I don't need anything. And you talk yeah. to them for 20 minutes and they're like, well, actually I kind of need some peanut butter. I know? So, yeah. so I think it's important to check on the people around us and, and really, because it makes us feel better too. Sometimes that, that giving, Mm -hmm. else, mm -hmm. takes the stress off of us. It does. That's what, I, that's what happens with me. It feels good to give. It mm -hmm. really does. And so I've seen so many other businesses in our community doing a lot of generous things as well. Like I'm just in awe of, I've always been an awe of Casper and I'm really excited to see how we're kind of growing again together. We're coming together and 
um, trying to support each other. And this is just another example. And thank you for doing this. Like we're trying to keep awareness of what everybody's doing and how we can all help. It's it's a really interesting thing to be watching. So as, as one of the owners, what's your favorite thing in Grant Street Grocery? Oh, that is so hard. It changes often, actually. Um, I do a lot of the buying at the store, so I kind of get to uh, do the research, and then we do the sampling, and so that's really fun. So my, my favorite things change kind of a lot. I can definitely say a few. I have a couple here. So this is one of our number one sellers. I love this as well. This is a delicious, it's a Bloody Mary mix. This you could even just drink in the morning if you need to get your tomato, you know, a little vegetable vegetable in you, but it makes a really fantastic um, Bloody Mary as well. And then the other thing more fun to drink at night. Linda, it might be a little more fun to drink at night. Yes. yes. Um, these are little French almond cakes. We have, these are delicious. I, these make a nice little gift as well for somebody, um, maybe with some tea or coffee. Um, that's kind of fun. But oh, my favorite products, I guess, I don't know. It changes. It really does change. Um, every month or so, we have a salsa maker called Need More Salsa. She's down in near Laramie, and they drive salsa up to us because it's so fresh. Um, cool. You don't want it to be sitting on a UPS truck or something like that. So they drive it up. And whenever that stuff comes in the store, oh, I definitely get that one. So I do have that now, which is good. Um, trying to support us also other Wyoming producers at the same time, um, making sure that we're getting, uh, we're buying, we're buying local as much as possible too. So will you kind of show us around the store? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, we'll fumble together anyways. Um, so for those of you who haven't been in the store, uh, there we go. How's that? Awesome. So you can kind of see, we've got a nice selection of gift cards. And there's my cheese case back there. I probably should just get myself out of this shot. I don't know how to do that. You are right. It is rude, isn't it? Um, but, I mean, I even have, like, bleach and paper towels. And I'm trying to make sure that, like, the pantry items are just on this all the time. And then I've got lots of treats and ice cream, um, pastas, breads. Those are, like, that's where all my prepared foods are. Uh, so if you come in, you want to check out that fridge. Um, but when you come in the store, there's also, I'll spin around here. When you check out, we keep a lot of things here. But then there's, that's usually full of meat. So uh, you can come in and get all kinds of things that way. Cheese. The behind me here is like sauces and different fun things to play with if you're cooking at home. Um, that is some um, bread. So I do have a lot of bread as well. That's a good thing for folks if they if they need to know where to go for the basic pantry things. It's it's kind of nice. But do you make that bread? No, that's actually a bread that is here. I've got one here. Uh, so this is a take and bake. Mm -hmm. So this is nice because it can go in your pantry, and you just pull it out when you're ready, and you bake it in the oven for 12 minutes. And it, it, it's like I did make it, but we, we don't. Um, and then I have like some sliced brioche that's really nice. And so we just, nice things. It's time to, we're just treating ourselves as well. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. We were talking about how we all have to adapt. And I thought you had a great acronym and also um, an attitude about it. So I'd love for you to share that with us. Sure. Um, you know, my thought on this whole thing is similar to uh, nature, um, and the acronym is you have to get mad, you have to get M-A-D, you have to migrate, adapt, or die. That's what happens in nature um, as, a, as species, and I think right now what we're all trying to do is figure out how to adapt. We're all just trying to figure out what this new world will look like for the next few months. Um, and honestly, for the a few years after that, potentially too, what that means for small business owners and restaurant owners and people, um, we're just trying to figure out what can we do now, but then also kind of trying to think about how we're gonna, how that's gonna affect us later as well. So we're definitely adapting, and we all have to adapt. And I think that 
that comes into kind of what I was saying before, we have to help each other and um, give each other grace in this time. Yep. Um, mostly I've seen, I was actually driving through a neighborhood recently or today, earlier today, and it's amazing. All the garage doors are open and people are sitting on their porches. And yeah. I mean, when, when do we see that? I mean, that's a good, that's a, something good out of this. Yeah, uh, people are riding, riding bikes and playing. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. It is amazing. And, and, you know, we've seen some of the opposite as well, but I just choose to be positive and I always encourage everyone. I mean, we got to know what's going on. We have to be reasonable, but the more time that we can spend on that positive side, the more happy we're going to be as well. Yep. Yep. And I know it's not always easy to do that, but we just, it's really hard sometimes, but we're just trying and um, remembering that we're all in this together. And that's a pretty unifying thing, not only for, uh, Casper and our country and the world like we're all we're all kind of in the same boat for the first time in a long time and yep. we, I mean and I mean I'm so I'm so thankful and happy that I live in Wyoming yes me too are, I know not tons of people <laughs> yeah I know a lot of people who've moved back just you know for however long they're like I'm moving back in with my parents I'm not I don't want to be in this city or that city or whatever it is like I'm moving home so it's nice that we we do have a treasure here for sure. Yes, we do. Well, thank you everyone. Go see Lindsay mm -hmm. at Grant Street Grocery and also Susan. Yes. So um, they're, you know, working hard to help us all out so we don't have to cook every meal as well. Yes. So, yes. Anyway. And have fun doing it. So and thank you. Yep. Yeah. So, thank you. Have a good day.